Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my 2015 beauty favorites. And I figured I'd, I wanted to do this because I haven't done a beauty favorites in like a few months. I don't do them monthly because sometimes I don't like new things every month. So I didn't want to start talking about the same things over and over again. But I know there are a lot of things that I don't mention in my videos because with I keep a schedule on certain times I don't get to mention everything that I am loving so I thought I'd do this and let you guys know this is my first video for 2016 and if you guys are curious about what my favorites for 2015 were then please keep watching I wrote them down because that way I can just pull them out of my collection because if I had to just free like freehand it, it would have been forever. So I'm starting with primers. Where are my primers? So the first one I'm going to mention is the one that I still have yet to buy back. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I When I first started making YouTube videos, this is all I was using. It was love. That's all I have to say. I need to buy it back. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, my next favorite is this one. I recently did a review on this. It's the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. I'm wearing it now. I'm pretty much wearing it in every other video since I got it. I don't know. I'm just, I love it. I just love, yeah. Okay, next. Next one is, of course, my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Mattifying Primer. This is a sample I got at um, Gen Beauty. The only one I got at Gen Beauty and it's almost done. It's kind of sad. But yeah, it really does. When I put it, I only put it in my um, really just here. Because it like, when I try to put the um, priming filter over it, it um, you can really see how mad it is because it doesn't want to take it. So I only have, I can only focus it on the middle where I don't put the filter because I get oily in this area. The next one is of course my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This has lasted forever and ever and I'm probably due for a new one because this is so old but I, it, it works so well. It works so well for me. Okay so next things are foundation. I apologize a majority of these are high end. I can't, I, I live in Sephora so. So the first one is my NARS Sheer Glow. This is not in order of what I bought them, they're just when they came to my mind. I was writing them down. And I have the shade Macau. This looks beautiful. This, of course, is my summer color. I don't think NARS has a winter shade for me that matches me. So if, in the winter, I usually mix this with the lighter foundation. But I love the way this goes on, the way it wears. It's beautiful. The next one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. My favorites for years. This is also, I think, in my winter shade. I mix it with a lighter foundation as well. That's the only thing I probably don't like about this foundation is that finding a shade that actually is my color is annoying sometimes. Um, next one is this one. This is my most recent one and it's the one I love the most because it matches me exactly. I'm wearing it now and I don't have to mix it with any of uh, any other foundation to lighten it even though it looks pretty dark in the tube. But it matches me perfectly. So this is the... Did I even say what it is? It's the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup in the shade 460 Suede. Okay, next one is my L'Oreal True Match in the shade W8 Cream Cafe. This is really light. I think it's almost done. Um, this is what I mix a lot of my foundations with, the darker ones with. This one and also with um, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Cream Complexion in the shade Tobacco. This shade is probably... This is my winter shade, like when I was away at school upstate winter shade, like when there's no sun on a regular basis, but now that I'm back home, I don't get to use it as much, even though I think I've used it once, but it still works out. But any of the other foundations from Becca in this color does not match me at all. This one, since it's so full coverage, it just looks normal. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I also mix this with sometimes with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I did that for my graduation Get Ready With Me use my two heavy duty favorites and they just they worked out they did me good concealers 
I don't own that many concealers. I should probably step up my game with my concealer game. So, first one is NARS Radiant Sheer Glow. I'm in the shade Caramel. I still need to repurchase this. It's almost empty. I'm wearing it today because I this one. Because the next one is for Bright Fruit to Gel Serum Concealer. It's pretty much done. I didn't even realize it was until I was like talking to my sister about it. And I'm like, oh my god, it's, it's done. You can like, see through it. It's, it's a problem. <clears throat> I don't usually finish products and I'm finishing a lot of them. Blush. My first blush is the Urban Decay Aptigal Blush, 8 hour blush in Bang. I've spoken about this before. This color looks intimidating. But if you blend it out and you don't use too much, it's beautiful. And it's a Tarte 24 hour blush. You know, is it a 24 hour? It's a 12 hour blush. I'm zoning clip. Excuse me, in the shade Blushing Bride. Oh, let me stop. Yeah, when I first got this, I got this at Generation Beauty, and I did not think it would show up on me, but I'm wearing it. It's a natural blush, though I do feel like that it's it's kind of stiff in the pan, but it's whatever. Um, I totally skipped powders and went straight to blush. <coughs> Excuse me, that's a hiccup. Um, powders. This is a Lancome Dual Finish <coughs> Multitasking Powder Foundation in one all day wear. <laughs> In the shade 460 suede, the same shade as the liquid foundation. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I'm wearing this too, but I'm also wearing another powder in my around my nose so I don't get too oily. <coughs> I can't. Hiccups are trying to kill me. Why am I getting the hiccups? Um, I can't wear this foundation alone because... <coughs> It looks nice at first, but by the end of the day, I'm oily everywhere. Like, my my skin is not, it's like, no, don't, powder, no, foundation, absolutely not. I get oily <coughs> everywhere, and it looks like a hot mess. So, only if I wear it on top of liquid foundation, it doesn't look as bad. <coughs> understand what that's about. Okay. My love. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. <coughs> I love this for baking, you know. It's my fave. My Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The writing's pretty much off the the lid. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing in my um teeth on my nose, you know, to um keep me all nice and matte. Then next, we got us some eyeshadow palettes. <clears throat> my late list. My late, ugh, I can't talk with the hiccups. And so, I have the Lorac Mega Pro Two palette. That's my top favorite right now. I use it in almost every one of my tutorials as of late. <coughs> it is love. I wanted the first one, but I like this one as what well. almost as much as I probably would have liked that one. Next one. This one I have to be careful in opening it because I broke an eyeshadow in it and it's upsetting me. And it's all over the palette. Oh my god. This is the Lorac Mega Pro. And this shadow down here, this same shadow keeps breaking. And now it's all over my other shadows and I'm just not in the mood to fix it. Why do you keep breaking? Who has time to fix this? It looks like another shadow's broken, but I don't see any cracks anywhere. But yeah, so I haven't been using this palette <gasps> as of recently because I need to fix that, but besides that, the colors are beautiful. This will always be one of my loves, it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I just love the colors in the original. I don't really care for the second one. Nor do I care for that third one with the hearts. I don't. <gasps> the packaging. Tarte. I'm mean, Too Faced. Sometimes Too Faced just makes it too childish for me. And I just I can't. But this. This is beautiful. I love this. <gasps> and it smells like chocolate. Another one of my favorites is the Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. These four. This is my everyday go to work. When I don't feel like thinking type eyeshadows. I'm not wearing them today. I'm wearing the Laura Mega Pro 2 today. Highlighters. I did not write them down. I just picked up the ones that aren't limited edition. Because I don't want to talk about things that are limited edition like... <coughs> oh, darling. But, um... <laughs> yeah. So, Hourglass Luminous Light. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't be forever to buy it. It's expensive, but I love it. Next one is my... Champagne pop. If you don't have this, find out something's wrong with you. I'm sorry, but 
it's been out for a long time. It's sure it's limited edition, but it's been limited edition for a while. Like, if you don't at least have the Champagne Glow palette, like, you need to get this. I'm kind of nervous because I saw that Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop shattered and then like everyone else's kind of did and I'm just like no no I forbid you from doing that because I'm not able to buy another one my last one is peach nectar from Anastasia Beverly Hills this color is so pretty it makes you look very wet I was tempted to wear it today but I'm going to work I don't know I could wear it today I'm going to it's okay um lipsticks I'm including traditional and liquid lipsticks in here the first thing is the one I'm wearing Del Rio by MAC I'm wearing it today looks pretty I like that it's satin it doesn't dry my lips out and satin because it reflects like it has a little bit of shade it makes my lips look even bigger and of course I like that next is taupe by MAC my favorite nude probably like my first nude my first real nude lipstick and it's like my favorite I love it and then Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks are my fave are my fave well okay majority of them are like I love Veronica Craft my baby trust issues my favorites now this one catnip I've been waiting to talk about this, but I, was, I didn't have a tutorial to use it in or anything, so it's in my it's in my favorites as a not so favorite because it's a beautiful color. I, I you know it's a pink that you know on everyone else gets to wear those pinks and they look nice on them, but to me is they're too light. So this one's beautiful. This one is drying. This one is not like those in formula. This one dries my lips out, which you know it's expected for liquid lipstick, but I didn't expect that from an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. So. I'm gonna still wear it. I'm just gonna have to prep my lips beforehand and try not to mess with them too much while I'm wearing it. Otherwise, they'll start to get, you know, really dry. They may even bleed, but this is such a pretty color. Such I'm in love with it. This is what I wanted Dusty Rose to look like on me. And I still want to buy Dusty Rose, but yeah. Set. Marc Jacob lipsticks are really nice. Like, they remind me of almost the NARS one because... Like, the higher line lipsticks, like the Marc Jacob liquid lipsticks, the, the NARS ones... That um, Givenchy one with the flowers, the limited edition packaging, I really like them because they go on almost like they'll real, like a satin, but they're kind of really soft. I don't know how to explain it. And they're really pigmented. And so, I don't know. So my favorite, did I? Yeah, I dropped this one. I'm so sad. Bored Gorgeous. This dark red color. <sighs> I dropped it. And then, I haven't worn Soul Sophia yet. I have worn Blow. I wore it to a concert actually. If you watch my Snapchat, I went to um, the weekend's concert and I wore Blow. I don't think I've worn that many out yet, but they're so good that I'm just, I'm gonna eventually. I just need to remember to, I need some place to store them dashing. So I remember to use them. This is this Maybelline lipstick and Touch of Spice. And if you've been watching my, my makeup videos for a while, you know that I wear this in like almost every single drugstore, everyday makeup tutorial that I do. So yeah. So that is the end of all of my 2015 favorites that I have multiples of. If you have any comments, concerns, suggestions, please leave them in the, the comments below. I will do my best to list everything that I've mentioned in the description. And thank you guys for subscribing if you're new and for sticking around if you're not because I've been having the worst time holding on to my YouTube schedule uploading schedule I don't know it's with work and everything I, I just want to sleep when I come home and then when I'm off I don't want to do anything so uh, I'm trying to fix that that's my resolution for 2016 is to get back on track so yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to